Hi there, I'm Plastic Swans and today I'm taking a look at the early access release of Park Beyond. This is the hotly anticipated new theme park management title that's been in the works for a couple of years now and it's finally getting its full release next month. In the meantime, the beta version is launching next week and I've been lucky enough to get a sneak peek at what's to come with this, so many thanks to the devs for that. I started this channel about four years ago releasing Planet Coaster videos, but it's been a good long while since I've covered a theme park simulation title, so it's certainly about time I dusted off the theme park creation brain cells. Coasters are back on the menu. We're starting off in sandbox mode in the only available map at the moment. This is the Southeast Asia biome. Very tranquil space. Can't imagine that lasting very long. Loading into sandbox mode, we're provided with a prefabricated starting entrance. This is fine, it's a very nice entrance, but it's not really my style. I'm itching to do my own version of this, and there's one piece in particular that's caught my attention. There's a plastic flamingo! Love plastic flamingos in games, I am definitely going to do something with this. So time for a jump cut and I'll be back with a new entrance. Well, this took a tad longer than I wanted it to. There's a few niggles with the modular building system in this very early version of the game. So a few early struggles. And although this isn't exactly what I had in mind, this is very much my style of building. Making good use of the flamingos. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of these guys before we're done. The rest of this entrance, a bit smaller than I'd wanted to make it, but I couldn't fight with the tool any longer. We've got bears, we've got neon lights. What more could you ask for? The limited time that I've got with the beta version of the game, I think this will do for now. It's not like we're going to be building a massive park at this stage. I've laid down an initial path and I figured out that if you work with the grid, it's slightly better with the pieces than doing off-grid work. Still, there is definitely something off with the modular building right now. Tell you what, I'll give you a rough demonstration how it works. If I select one of the scenery pieces, sit it on the ground and turn on the advanced move. Uh, wait, maybe this one won't work. I think I need a bigger one. Let's see. Uh, oh, we can try with a bear. So duplicate you. Now look at that. How it positions it when you copy something. Align with the ground? Heck no, we're going to give you a jaunty angle and you'll like it. Don't get me wrong, I fully appreciate this is very early access, so I'm sure this will be fixed in time. More pointing out, that's why the entrance is a little less fancy than I would normally do for something like this. Hey ho, that's enough of that for now. Time to start adding the fun stuff. I've got progress enabled on this sandbox mode, so we're starting off with not a lot, so we need to add a flat ride. Crazy Kraken? Why not? <laughs> Let's see how crazy it actually is. I like that it's square, that's going to fit in well in this space that I've put out for it. I'll align in the top corner and then that gives me loads of room to add the cupa. Maybe a little more space in the top so I can decorate around this. Can't have a ride that's just boring grass, can we? So the exit's connected automatically, now I need to put in the cupa. Three options for how it looks, there's wave, let's see. Or we could use zebra. No. What about wood? Are we wood people? See though, nothing else in here is wood and I don't plan on doing a wood theme. So, I mean, I want the same path throughout the whole of the park. That's just how I roll. I think I like the wave one. It's a little garish, a little quirky. That's definitely my sort of style just need to connect it to the main path and that should be it for the Kraken. Oh, it's biting me on it. Curve, curvy, that'll do. Oh, come on. Yay. That's our first ride open. That means we should have some guests coming through soon. Well pleased with that. <laughs> it's making weird noises at me. I bet there's a load of customizations I can do with this. Let's see, can we find the music? Change up from the quirky one there. Aha, uh -huh, music. So, adventure awaits. Ugh, no, I don't like it. This'll get old quick. What about cloud business? 
Oh yeah, that's a bit weird. That's nice. This is a teen ride and I feel like this music would appeal to teenagers maybe? Let's see if they'll fall for it. Plenty in the queue. First victims all loaded up and ready to go. Looking very confident that they're going to have a good time. Oh, we're off. <laughs> right, let's see just how crazy this Kraken can get. Nothing too crazy. I'm quite a coaster wuss and I think I'd be alright with this one. Oh, hang on. Picking up a bit now. You know what happens now. Got to be done. We've got to test this out for ourselves. Oh, Lord. Oh, hey. Oh, look at his face. <laughs> Emotionless. Cold dead eyes of a killer. Kraken indeed do be crazy. No, I think that's enough of that. Let's leave it to the teens. Now, with the ride open, it's looking a little... Well, it is a flat ride, but it is looking as extra specially flat because there's no decoration. We don't do no decoration on this channel. We do over decoration. So I will take a bit of time to do that and jump cut back when I've got something I think looks good. Here we go. Some nice plantings now around the Kraken. Now we need some bins and benches. Can't have a bench without a bin, that's the rule. I've put down some food and some toilets here because guests are going to start complaining about that if I don't. I did put down a water store inside the entrance that I made earlier, but reluctantly I'm going to make do with the prefab stuff for these ones. I can't fight with that tool any longer. Not for an entire building anyways. I think that's all the basics done now. Wow, the entrance is looking a little better in the dark there. Look at that. It's like Piccadilly Circus down here. Let's take a look at the other side. <laughs> yep, this is very much on brand with the channel here. I'd say we're ready for another ride, albeit we've only got two choices, haven't we? So, pirate ship. I guess it does fit in with the Kraken there. Going for a bit of a theme, albeit we haven't got anything nautical to put around here, so I've just been going with plants for the theming for the rides. Good point actually to mention again, this is the beta, so it hasn't got all of the content in the game just yet. This is just a taster of what's to come, so limited on the pieces right now. You know, I think I'm going to be fighting with the pathing for a while on this one to get it right. Let me fiddle with this and jump cut back to when it's done. Pirate ride is in. It was quite a bit of fiddling with the pathing. I'd put it stupidly on a bit of a hill just to let the sight lines look a little better. And I wish I hadn't bothered now. And no, we're not having adventure awaits. What about dance? Ugh, no. No, you see, I'm being spoiled by the cloud one. Yeah, sticking with curious clouds for a while. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, I've hired some staff, so we've got some janitors and we've got these curious little entertainers that just go around with microphones and don't seem to do anything else. I have faith that they're doing a good job keeping the guests entertained. Now we wait for guests to realise there's another ride in the park, they don't have to keep continuously riding Kraken over and over again. And here they come. Ahoy, matey. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your time sailing with us today. There's a few already on and waiting, but there's a lot of seats in this one, so it could take a while for this to fill up. I wonder how the guests react to being stuck in a ride like that when it's not full. Whether their needs and stuff still drain in that waiting time? No doubt they'll give me their feedback on that if they don't like it. Oh, here we go. Looks like we're off. Yep, there you go. Pirate ship, another successful flat ride opened. We'll leave them to enjoy that. And that means, well, we could do a coaster, I guess, next. Or we could just stick with some flat rides for now until the money starts coming through. We have got one flat ride left available to us at the moment that we haven't placed. Go for all three done, maybe. Shining Pendulum. Ooh, yeah, that looks like a bit of a beastie one, that. Must be one for the adults. Right, let's be having you then. Enjoy the flinging hammer thingy. Oh, you know what? 
I'm an idiot. Oh, I've been sat here and um, wondering why the money's not been going up. Well, I wasn't charging them anything to get in. <laughs> Can't be having that, can we? I was waiting for the ride to set off and was thinking, why have I got those objectives down at the bottom that says um, $1,000 by selling tickets? And, well, I wasn't getting anywhere with that. And, uh, of course, you have to set the ticket price, don't you? So no more free entry for you there, no. Swinging hammer pendulum thing is now in full, well, swing, so... All right then, I know the rules. Yay, so much fun. Uh, uh. To be fair, this doesn't feel as bad as that Kraken one, and that's for teenagers. <laughs> enough though, no, that's enough. Looking way too green around Pendulum there. Time for me to do some decoration for that. Get ready. Jump cut in three, two, one. Ta-da! We're back and, well, pushed myself and got those creative juices working for the old Pendulum swing here. No plants this time. We're going Teddy Bear's Carnage. This is Rock Bear. And next to this, this is supposedly a Ring of Fire, but... It might be broken because there's no fire. I'm sure the flames will be along at some point. Around the side, we've got a Viking bear here brandishing a shovel. <laughs> we are a little short on props right now. Although, let me introduce you to Bicle, the bison eagle hybrid. What better way to scare the kids away from the adult ride than this monstrosity? This will be my pride and joy for the rest of this park. Finishing up the theming for now, we've got another Viking bear, this time brandishing a pickaxe. So a little all over the place with the theming here, but it gives you an idea of what could be possible when we have the full suite of scenery items. That's all three of the flat rides we've unlocked so far placed, so it's coaster time I guess. I've left loads of space back here to play with so should be plenty of room to get something decent in. Coasters can take up a lot of room. Hey oh no oh uh, that's not meant to be there. Uh, why is the ride still going? Oh no <laughs> think of the children. Right let's see what's going on. Uh, maintenance? Maintenance? Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, we're meant to do maintenance. Well, that's a problem because I don't have any mechanics. Whoopsie. Let's fix that now and fingers crossed it doesn't blow up or something. Oh, don't want that. Roberta Henderson and Lonnie Owens. One of you's got a really bad first day here. Oh, well, the ride's done at least. I guess everyone was warned this park's going to be a little dangerous. Maybe they thought that was part of the routine. Yeah, let's just say that. The Kraken rise when it bursts into flames seemed really realistic. Yeah, did, didn't it? Hey ho, fingers crossed mechanics are on their way. Found one. Come on, figure it out. There's a serious situation unfolding and you're stuck on the path. Good, right now, onto it, please. Where are you going now? You're not going to the fire. I'm legitimately concerned this is going to burn down. Oh, hang on. I've got an idea. Scenery pieces. And water emitter. Right. This is not going to work, but <laughs> let's try it anyway. Like our own personal fire extinguisher. Let's move you over just a little bit. Perfect. Right, flames be gone. No way. Did that work? I'm a genius. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, it's just the mechanic. They finally found their way over here. For a split second there, I wondered if the game might have had a gameplay mechanic where you could help out in a situation like that. No... It was just really good timing there. Oh, well, surprise, surprise. Pirate ship's not looking too hot. Well, actually, a bit too hot. <laughs> this is clearly the opposite of not hot. 
So apparently that's a thing. If you don't maintain your rides, they will spontaneously catch on fire. I mean, isn't it more likely it would have a mechanical fault, maybe? No, 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 we just catch on fire here. <laughs> that kind of park. I'll trust one of our mechanics will get onto that shortly. Another end to a eventful day. I think we'll save coaster building for episode two. Can't have all the fun on day one, can we? Hope you've enjoyed this one and you're looking forward to the full release of Park Beyond as much as I am. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.